people, 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 people. Keep passa, suck passa, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. This one is called It Happen Again. It Happen Once More Again. A crime of passion in which two purses are gone. Call it him take she and then him take himself. This incident occurred on Winward Avenue and Mountain View. Winward Road and Mountain View Avenue. The intersection right there at the stoplights. The young lady that you see on the screen, she is said to be a Digicel administrator. And then this is a picture of both, meaning both victims. Based on the information, it is said that they pulled up at the lights. It seems as if something triggered this man. Percy said there was some sorts of argument over some other man, some sorts of infidelity, some sorts of cheating. Cannot confirm that. However, based on information that I am getting, yes, it is indeed a crime of passion. What exactly does that mean? It means that the way that this lady lost her life and the way that this man gave away or took his own life, it tells you that he was mad. Based on the information, it is said that this lady received at least two one in the stomach and possibly one in the head, at least two. After the man thought that he had taken her away, he then turned it on himself. One in the cranium. There is a video that is out there because of YouTube's policy. I cannot play this video. However, I am going to put it in my WhatsApp group. The number again, one 894 2711. So you want to see the double on Winrod, Winward Road and Mountain View Avenue. Leave your name. You want to join the group. Do not call. Do not video call me. If and when you call or text, be patient. I am always overwhelmed. I still have not catch up to videos that I was supposed to send out or purses I was supposed to add to the group weeks or months ago. So just be patient. Now people, here's the thing as it pertains to a crime of passion. Usually there is some sort of sign. Usually one person is jealous. One person is obsessive. One person is insecure. Apparently things were not going too well. Don't know if it is because of cheating or if it is because of some sorts of financial situation. You know, sometimes people not doing too good financially. They were okay once, and then things kind of took a change for the worse. However, in most cases that we see, as it pertains to crime of passion, it is usually jealousy. That is why I always say, Whenever you get in any sort of relationship, make sure that you choose somebody that you are compatible with. Somebody that have the same goals, the same standard of how they think, the morals and ethics. Somebody that is mostly stable. Somebody that is not jealous. Somebody that is not insecure. And I am not saying that it cannot work if you pick up somebody that is financially not as stable as you. However, you have to weigh everything. You have to have a balance. That means uh, even if they are not financially secure, them head are stable. Them have tranquil way. They do not have this aggressive mentality, this jealous mentality, this A-B-U-S-I-V-E mentality. And people, Sometimes women especially stay in a situation because of financial. Sometimes they are emotionally traumatized so therefore them stay 
it is as if they are psychologically in a some sorts of bondage so them don't want left however people based on what we've been seeing going on lately in the past i think that whenever you see those signs it is time for you to exit stage left it is time for you to bounce when you have the opportunity to leave please do do not say that you're trying to make it work out most of the time unless there is some sorts of intervention some sorts of counseling or some even better divine intervention it is only going to get from bad to worse to worse Sarah. do not stay until it gets to the furthest extent and people like i said it seems as if that was the case in this case I am not going to say who was wrong or who did what or who hurt who. So therefore this person got in their feelings. Whatever it is. Cheating has been around since the start of time. Jamaica is the epicenter of bun. That means that if 75% of the people them out there are jacket. Just imagine how many men or women are out there cheating. And those persons that are cheating is cheating mostly with somebody else that is more than likely cheating so do the maths the odds of you getting born is very high so therefore don't take it or don't get in your feelings and think that you should take away this person it is not an isolated incident it is mostly the majority so therefore no for we no for uno no for them i get born so therefore if you are the born e and not the boner you have two choices is either you stick and stay with the situation or you cut under no circumstances should it get to the point in which you feel as if you are supposed to take away that other person's life because you feel or got in your feelings you got insecure it makes absolutely no sorts of sense now Based on this very disturbing trend that we've seen lately, it seems as if the FLA Firearm Licensing Authority will have to rethink its vetting process of how it psychoanalyzes the people that are fit for some sorts of firearms license. Because lately we've seen that most of the women, most of the men that are getting taken away these are licensed fire piece holder so therefore it seems as if them of a psychoanalyze come with a new strategy or else this is going to continue to happen and maybe even if they did not have a licensed fire piece they would have resorted to option b find a hitman which is also very easy in a jamaica hitman for hire they come dime a dozen point blank and period further on in the news it is called a leopard never changes its spots people are always going to resort to what comes natural for them i am speaking about an incident that kicked off in a place called rockford where it was confirmed at least seven people got conned up of those seven people, baby mother, pregnant woman. Four of them were taken to the place of recovery and they were treated. Don't know if they were released. Three of them, some men, unfortunately, they did not make it. They were pronounced very badly. It is said that one of those persons that lost his life, he was the intended target. Because of an incident that occurred maybe about a year or so ago where he pie-pied up a man, it seems as if they came back for revenge. So when you look at the past history and even recent history of Rockford, it has always been a hotbed of crime. Gangs, gangsters roam the place internal or external the latest war has been going on for in excess of about a decade from as late as 2012 up to 2023 
where it is said that there was some sort of peace treaty that was signed. However, people, less than a couple of months later, we see that that was not effective because at least seven people get caught up, four injured, three did not make it, one was the intended target. Like I said before, a leopard never changed its spots. It is in their natural instincts to do whatever they do naturally. So therefore, when some individual or a set of individual decides, all right, the place calm down, no more eruption, no more WAR. Who did they consult? Who were the experts that made this decision? Because if them know and if them did check, them would insist say, there is no sort of love loss between the gangs in Iraq forts. The people them naturally don't like each other. The people them naturally want to take off their enemy's head. So therefore, any sort of opportunity that they get, that is exactly what they are going to do. Fast forward to that fateful night when seven persons got conned up. Three did not make it. A peace treaty was signed prior to that. A peace treaty was signed after the man, the victim, one of the victims or the intended target, sorry, lost his life. It is said that he was the person that initiated the lasting or the straw that broke the camel's back. They went for him. They knew that there was some sort of topless party. They knew that everybody was there, including Granny, pregnant woman, little Pitney. However, most importantly was the intended target. The person that did something in their estimation to one of theirs, so therefore reprisal was going to be the order of the day. So it did not matter if there was any sort of contractual agreement between any set of people. Peace treated them, call it. That was going to break sooner or later. Again, like me say, it is in their natural instinct to seek revenge. Reprisal is always the order of the day. So therefore, peace treaty or not, nothing is going to ever change. As a matter of fact, if it changes, it is going to be for the Wasara. And once this new generation is getting worser and worser, we should keep our fingers crossed, hope for the best. However, expect the worst. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, this is called nothing but lies. Call it a joke. The other day I was surfing the nets. I was looking for a vehicle to run some sorts of taxi. So I saw something $1.5 million for Skybox. I thought that was the upper level of the Pro Box. So then I went and I bought it. It came up to about 11,000 US dollars. That is 1.5 million Jamaican dollars. I was in foreign at the time. So I said to myself, all right, since me I come to Jamaica for the independence gala at the stadium, I am just going to come and check it out at the same time. Kind of K-I-L-L, two birds with one stone. So therefore, when me I leave, me call the people and say, yeah, me I come check out the skybox, kind of test it out and thing and thing. So the person said to me, what do you mean, test it out? I say, not the new pro box named Skybox. The man said, nah man, Skybox for the Chris Brown thing. Now people, if you remember, I was one of those persons that were saying, it seems as if the promoter for this show really take Jamaican people for idiots. Nobody now go buy none of them ticket there. People, I was wrong. All of the skybox is sold out. As a matter of fact, the whole show sold out. Look at it. If them can sell out skybox for $1.5 million, them can sell out bleachers, 
them can sell out V, 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 I, P, V, C, I, P, V, C, R, Beta, anything them can sell out. Because Jamaica people love the hype. So anyways, when I call the man, I say, no man, I don't nah buy no ticket for $1.5 million after I don't nah fall. I don't want to go to the show and be the only one with the up there. In a skybox and everybody a laugh off of me upon the lower. Him say but it sell off. You won't be the only one. Everybody a buy it. The rich people, the uptown people, the people them were pretty much of them P-U-M-S or them deep throat upon the counter. Them a buy it too. Now people, here's the thing. What I know about Jamaica and Jamaican people and people don't get me wrong. It is not tricking if you have it. If you can afford it, you have my blessings. However, most Jamaican people that can't even afford it, they are going to call people overseas. They are going to call people overseas to buy a ticket for them, to buy outfit, to buy shoes. They are going to be some sorts of pestilence. Some of these women are even some of the men Africa bend down lower. Africa make them short X10 just to get these tickets. Those are the people may I talk about. If you not have it like that, don't go to any sorts of extreme. Forget those type of tickets. You might live to regret it. And then again, this is what a lot of these people do. A lot of these people sell the PUMS or sell the ASS for the money so therefore if them can pretty much k-i-l-l -L, one bird or two bird with one stone why not they get the s-e-x or freakiness that they like them get chris brown ticket so therefore it is a win-win proposition people let me know what you think in the comment section further on in the news it is official now, unless you've been living under a rock, you should know about that situation in a Haiti, wherein gangsters pretty much took over the place, call it an unofficial, unofficial coup d'etat by the gangsters. A couple of months ago, we heard your Prime Minister say, Jamaica is going to help out the situation. And I said to myself, that sounds kind of strange. The needy helping the more needy. However, it seems as if it has been confirmed. Your government, Andrew Holness and the JLP, has confirmed that they are sending 200 security personnel. I don't know if this includes JDF, JCF, security, watchman, watch the poem people may not really know however that is the commitment now when we hear stuff like this may I for wonder then hold on a minute Jamaica not have problem Jamaica is not faced with the crime monster how is it that you are hopeless and helpless with your own internal situation however you want to help out people who are even worse than you wouldn't you leave that up to places that have their ducks in order, have them crime under control, know exactly what they are doing? Jamaica going to Haiti would be the equivalent of the three blind mice. Are the blind mice helping the blind mice, the blind leading the blind? So when we think about the situation and try rationalize, May I say to myself, okay, you are going to send the manpower. Who is going to send or pay for those people that you send? Is there some sorts of monetary gain in it? And people, I think there is. I think each country that agrees to send any sort of security personnel are going to get room and board, booking, those places are going to be financed by some sorts of body, be it America or some other international organization. As a matter of fact, 
we've heard United States of America said that they are not going to be the head of it. They will also assist, but them now uh, lead the whole thing. So therefore, if the world popo are kind of hesitant about being the leaders, why is it that little Jamaica think that they can help out the needy when they themselves or we ourselves are in need? People, usually it is because of financial gain. Because when we check the history or even recent history of Jamaican, Jamaican politicians, they are not moved unless money is involved. Like them say, money moves mountain. That is the ulterior motive that they have. More than likely, I am no sort of crime expert, but me just as say, it is my opinion, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.